A lot of what I post on this channel is for people that want to be professional filmmakers or photographers, but a lot of the tools I'm talking about are actually really hard to learn, like Final Cut Pro, Resolve, Photoshop. A lot of that is actually inside of Canva, and that's what I'm gonna be showing you how to do professional work today using their online tool. They are sponsoring this video. Let's dig into some of the brand new video tools that are really impressive. If you've already tried Canva, you're probably using some of the great design tools, like you can make a really professional looking Instagram story or Facebook post. I use them when I need to design a quick flyer or cover letter or podcast art. If you just kinda of want a quick start, you can try some of their templates, which showcase what you can potentially do with it. But what I wanna do today is create a little trailer for this studio. I'm gonna pretend this studio here is our business. We like to call it White Bike Studios because of, well, this white bike on the wall. This is part of the story of how my wife and I met. So I already uploaded some images of the space and also some video clips from back when we renovated uh, and I did a studio tour kind of showcasing all of it. So if I hover over here on the left, I can get a preview of each clip. And I'm just gonna grab the first one and drag it in. That's a perfect introduction to the space. So now I'm gonna show off a few little details. And if you've used any traditional video editor, this is all gonna be familiar to you. But if you haven't, it's really easy to get the hang of, like big things to grab onto, just very intuitive usability. Once I've got a bunch of clips in here, I can start to edit them in more detail. So this one is a little too long. And also I can zoom in on it. So down here, right now I'm zooming in on my timeline. I can also switch it to zoom in or out on the image but I'm gonna select the clip on my timeline and just grab the handles to make it shorter. I find when people are first starting to edit video, they make things longer than they need to be. I mean, you can start off by making each clip like one and a half seconds and you'll be halfway to making a good video. If it's a montage kind of thing like we're doing here. For my situation, I didn't shoot videos of everything. I also have images, but fortunately we can really turn those into nice little video pieces. So I'm gonna kind of mix these in as well. And once I have a few photos in, I can make them more like a video by adding animations. So if I just click up here, there's a ton of stuff built in. One that I know that I like, so I use this all the time in my YouTube videos is Breathe, where it just slowly zooms in. Just makes it feel a little more alive. Then I can also add transitions in between them. Now transitions are dangerous. I feel like people use them too much at the beginning, but there's one that I do use on my YouTube channel today, and that's Line Wipe. You change the direction that it goes in, and the speed. Now let's add a bit of text over here on the left. So I'm gonna add a heading to start. Keep it all real simple here. I'm just gonna say White Bike Studios. They've already got my brand font that I use for everything. I'm gonna make this a lot bigger. Change the, oh, it actually bases it off of photo colors. That's interesting. So instead of a pure white, it's kind of a, a white that matches the scene. Let's make this even bigger, make sure it's centered and we'll animate it in. There's a ton of options here. A lot of them are really like energetic and feel super fun. This shot as it comes in is pretty dramatic. So here, the spread one feels like it's got the same tone as the original shot. So let's watch it. Oh yeah, yeah, that's perfect. And Canva also supplies a bunch of built-in resources. So let's add some elements. I'm gonna search for a camera. You can see they've got photos or videos of cameras. That's not really what we need here. I wanted like a graphic, maybe one of these. So it looks like a photo is being taken. I guess this is a video in this case. I'm gonna add some more text. And so this subheading, I can actually edit the brand fonts here. So I use the same font for both headlines and subheadings. So that's just babas, babas. Never know how to say it. Make it a little bigger. Let's say bright, natural light. And this image is a bit too busy to see what's going on. So we're gonna add a effect. How about a background? Hey, there, now we can see it. Uh, I don't think yellow makes sense in this shot. Yeah, there we go, keep it neutral. I'm gonna dial in the letter spacing and the line spacing. Whoa, you can do crazy stuff with this, this is awesome. You can also do page animation, so you're not just doing one element at a time. Oh, this is awesome. It like coordinates the multiple elements so they kind of come in in a way that makes sense. Oh, this is great. Okay, I'm gonna do pan, because it, it like times them properly. In Final Cut Pro, which I usually use, you have to do all that manually. Okay, I love this animation. I don't want it to come in right when the shot appears. So now there's a new feature that gives you a lot more control. You can right click and say, show timing. And then on top of the clip, you now have control over when it appears. So I'm gonna have just the empty kitchen and then actually here, right? Let's uh, show the timing, here we go. And separately, I'll make this border appear. And now they'll come in one after the other. And then I'm done, I can just say hide timing. They've also added new adjustment filters. So I can go in and modify this video clip. If I just click on them, I can get a preview and also turn down the intensity. And I can also do adjustments, which is what I'm looking for on this shot. I think it's just a little warmer than everything else. So I can cool it down, make sure that it looks pure white. But of course there's way more tools here. Like if you needed to add a fade or uh, boost the shadows, there's all sorts of stuff you can mess with. All right, and now let's check out what we've got. 
when you want to add music, that's something that Canva already has. We don't even have to go anywhere else to find it. Here's one way I find myself editing images all the time. I'll go into adjust and bring down both the brightness, but also the highlights. And this is basically just to allow white text to show up better on top of it. I mean, people don't really notice that you've dimmed the whites a bit, but it makes the text a lot more legible. And on top of that, you can add the effect lift to the text and that just gives it a small drop shadow. Now, let's say I wanna add myself into the video. There's two easy ways to do it. The first one is there's a record yourself button here. I just need to give my webcam permission and then I click record. Thanks for visiting White Bike Studios. Great, and then I can adjust the timing of that just like anything else. But you know, I can make this even more interesting. Let's get a bit more ambitious. Canva added a background removal tool and it's kind of magic. Hey, thanks for visiting White Bike Studios. Okay, I'll drop the clip in here. I'm gonna right click it, show timing. So I trim this down to just the part that I want. Then I say edit video, and here's the magic background remover. And hey, check it out, it totally works. It's like I'm right here in the studio. <laughs> All right, the video is done. Let's see what we got. Hey, thanks for visiting White Bike Studios. <laughs> That's the best part. Now if I wanna get up and go somewhere, I can move from my computer to my phone and just pick up the edit and keep working on the exact same project. If you wanna dig into these powerful video editing tools online yourself, you can try Canva Pro for free for 45 days by using the link canva.me slash stallman45 or hit the link in the description. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I've got a whole playlist about how I edit videos. That's the next thing you should watch. I'll see you over there.